my son missed his spectroscopy lab where they saturated sticks in various metal chloride solutions and then use a Bunsen burner flame to excite the atoms, which upon emission released energy in different colors of visible light. To make up for that missed lab and to do some extra credit, we redid the lab, but with a little more heat. We swapped out the buns and burners for some fuel mines. But we'll use something a bit smaller than that fuel mine. In our case, we use some one gallon methanol fuel mines, which is good because these days methanol is about $14 per gallon. Well, I had uh, some boric acid that I had picked up at a PGI seminar a couple years ago, and we found this calcium chloride for uh, some home brewing equipment. The potassium and iodide and lithium chloride, we ended up ordering on Amazon. The different coloring agents were mixed in with the methanol on each one of these fuel mines, and we used these sticks to try to mix it up as good as possible. Now we were going to do this safely, so we used a firing system that allowed us to remotely fire off the charges for the mines. Here we're just checking the wiring, making sure nothing's been uh, damaged. We had two rails or slats, each with two mines on them. And here, those four black boxes indicate that we have good continuity on all four charges. All right, my son has the controller and he's gonna be firing off these charges. Okay, go ahead and turn the key to arm. See the MF button for manual, press that, manual fire. Right there? Yep. Okay. Nothing's gonna happen, just push it, push it. Okay, now it's telling you you want a manual fire. Yeah. Okay, so the green cues there, Yeah. those are the things that are active. So right now hit the R1, nothing's gonna happen. Now, see the one in the, the don't hit them yet, because I wanna film it. One and two are the first two cues, so don't do them quickly, because we're gonna see what happens. So okay. when you're ready, turn my light down. Hit uh, R1. Fire. All right, that was a little green. That was the boric. Uh -huh. Ready? Fire. That's bigger. Okay. We got the second rail for the other two because I spaced them out. So hit R2. Okay, when you're ready, this one, this one I'm not sure is going to work. It's the lithium. It didn't really want to create a solution or dissolve, so. Okay. Right. Oh, that did work. They see that colors. Yeah. And firing too. And that's the potassium. Alrighty. Now you can go ahead and turn the key back to test. All right. The system is no longer in arm. Nothing's going to fire. What do you think? Fire. Did you see the different colors? A little bit. Yeah, we'll have to go back and uh, look at it on the camera. Well, what did you think? Here they are again, all side by side. You can definitely see the different colors. These might have been a little overcharged. If I were to do it again, I might reduce the charge. And then to wrap up the night, we took our mixing sticks, which we did remove before firing. And since they were soaked in the various solutions, burned those very much like the, uh, very much like the original cool. class lab. Yeah, look at that red. That's cool. Yeah, those have been soaking for like an hour in there. I kept stirring them. And try that other one one more time. Okay, see it. Yeah. It's bright orange. 
Well, I hope you found this video interesting and maybe a bit educational. We had fun doing it. Uh, the boric acid certainly stood out. And maybe with a little lighter charge, that green fireball might stay in the air a bit longer. Well, that's a wrap for this video. And feel free to check out some of the other videos on this channel.